Oh, magic. Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here. Good morning from Danaher Creek. After a restful night, it's time to hit the trail again. Today's plan is to take the Fool Hen Creek Trail number 142, which is supposed to be a quick two mile shortcut. Little did I know it would turn into an all day adventure. Having breakfast and getting ready for the day's hike. The plan is to reach Hong Creek by the end of the day, but first we need to navigate the Fool Hen Creek Trail. The trail starts off easy enough, but it quickly becomes clear that this shortcut has a few surprises in store. What was supposed to be a gentle two mile hike turns into a grueling seven hour trek. The trail seems to disappear at times and I find myself navigating steep 60 degree climbs up Woodtick and Jumbo Mountains. I'm just pointing the camera down at the ground, but I'm not. I'm pointing it almost at the sky right now. <sighs> so we're pushing to the summit. This incline is over 45. We've got probably 50 degree, maybe 55. It's insane. Like, that's a little bit of it. And then up there, it just goes up. According to the map, this should have been a straightforward shortcut. In reality, it's anything but. We're still going up. Finally, after hours of climbing, I've reached the summit. The view from up here is incredible, making the tough climb worth it. Huckleberry 
bushes. Look at all the hooks. Huckleberries are a cousin of the blueberry, the Cinium family. They are native to Montana and they are not cultivated inorganically. They are only found in the wilderness. We finally found the other side. It's what is it? 4:30, 4 o'clock. Down there. Okay. There's 142. Okay. So this map's right laying exactly right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where we're at right here. Holy shit, we gotta go try to go clean to there. Back on Trail 265, it's a relief to be on a well-defined path again. As I'm walking, I come across something unexpected. A trail cam for carnivore research. It's fascinating to think about the wildlife that roams these parts and the research being done to study them. So, it's 4.30. We were gonna stay at uh, Lawn Creek Cabin or near there tonight, but we are nowhere near. We are at the junction where 235 meets 142. We came out 142. Foo Hen Creek Trail meets the Lawn Creek Trail. Um, but because of those wildlife attractants, carnivore attractants, um, we can't stay there. That's not safe. And it's 4.30, so we're gonna keep trekking. I think we may be heading to Hong Creek Cabin. And we won't get there for a while, but we'll just try, try our best and make it. With the day drawing to a close, I push on toward Hong Creek, hoping to find a good campsite before dark. At last, I find a perfect spot by Alloy Creek setting up camp and preparing for another night in the wilderness. In the next episode, I'll tackle new trails, encounter more wildlife, and face whatever challenges the wilderness throws my way. See you next time, and happy trekking!